BMW has a new strategy for its electric vehicle batteries and they are like Tesla's battery strategy. Large round cells like Tesla, also with LFP, now new BMW strategy is for electric cars from 2025. There were numerous rumors about this before and now BMW has confirmed them and added further information. The company's next generation of electric cars known as the new class will use round battery cells, at least half of them in a format known from Tesla. Thanks to higher density and new technology, the 46 batteries should cost 50% less than those previously used. However, BMW does not want to produce them itself, but with partners with CATL and Eve Energy, these have already been found for four to six plant factories. But three companies involved announced this in part yesterday on Friday. In its announcement, BMW writes of newly developed sixth generation of its own lithium-ion cells as a huge technological leap. The energy density should increase by more than 20%, the charging speed by 30%, and the range by 30%, probably in comparison to the current BMW electric car i4 and iX. New integration concepts are also expected to reduce costs by up to 50%. The cell format and chemistry have been fundamentally optimized and designed specifically for the new class from 2025. BMW writes of itself September 2020 as the basis for its own production. Instead of always 80 millimeters as with Tesla, BMW wants to use two different heights but does not name them specifically. Inside the proportion of nickel in the cathode should be higher and that of cobalt lower and the anode should contain more silicon, the German company has now announced. The new electric cars coming from 2025 should charge with 800 volts and up to 500 amperes, that means 400 kilowatts. At the more economical end of its range, BMW like Tesla before it and then more... Uh, uh, and more other Western manufacturers also wants to use LFP battery chemistry for its new batteries for electric cars, which does not require nickel and cobalt, which is good. And apparently there are billions in orders for CATL and EVE from China. BMW does not plan to produce its own battery entirely, despite the emphasis on its own contribution to development, but close ties to partners. Together with them, BMW wants to set up battery factories at six locations, each with an annual capacity of 20 gigawatt hours. The first two partners are the world market leaders, leader CATL and the smaller manufacturer EV Energy, who have already received orders in the double-digit billion range. According to BMW, both are building two factories, each in Asia and Europe. That means four of the planned six. Partners for the remaining two in North America will be named later. In a statement from CATL on the same subject, BMW is described as the Chinese company's special and primary partner. We are very happy to extend the partnership forget over the past 11 years to actually forged over the past 11 years to the new class from 2025, they said. CATL recently introduced a new battery technology called Killing with Q, emphasizing that it is superior to Tesla's 4680 battery concept. It was speculated before and that BMW would make use of it, but as it turned out, the cells in the highly integrated Killing packages appear to be angular. In parallel, CATL has been working on 4680 batteries since at least 2021, as has EV Energy as the second 46 sum contract manufacturer for BMW from China. Something very important happened with Tesla Giga Shanghai. Tesla Giga Shanghai achieved annualized production rate of over 900,000 vehicles in August. Just for comparison, 900,000 is about the number of vehicles Tesla delivered in all of 2021 utilizing both Giga Shanghai and the company's Fremont, California plant. Imagine what Tesla will do from now on with two extra Giga factories, Giga Berlin and Giga Factory Austin. So Tesla China has 
has just posted its second highest monthly delivery numbers in August, which I reported a couple of days ago, producing and selling 76,965 vehicles in August 2022. And even more impressively, August delivery numbers marked the second time Giga Shanghai was able to surpass an annualized production run rate of 900,000 electric vehicles from Giga Shanghai alone. Tesla has been growing vehicle production at an incredible pace, everyone. And even more impressively, the electric vehicle maker is achieving this growth while the entire automotive industry has been forced to cut production due to the worldwide difficulties. And the biggest growth center for the electric vehicle maker has been Gigafactory Shanghai. Tesla China factory within three years of the groundbreaking ceremony has already surpassed an annual production rate of 900,000 electric vehicles. This makes Giga Shanghai Tesla's biggest production hub surpassing the decade-old Fremont California plant. For instance, this June, Tesla hit a new wholesale record out of Giga Shanghai, producing 78,906 vehicles in a single month. June's number was 139% growth year over year and a 145% increase month over month. However, Following June's record, July's delivery numbers fell sharply due to a scheduled shutdown at Tesla's China plant. The plant was shut down for half of the month in order to make upgrades that will increase Giga Shanghai's annualized production capacity to over 750,000 vehicles. According to the wholesale number released by China Passenger Car Association, Tesla's production in July was down to 38,968 vehicles. However, August's numbers showed a sharp revival with Tesla China producing and selling 76,965 vehicles in the last month. This is a 133% growth month over month and of total vehicle deliveries of 62,169 were Model Y and the rest were Model 3s. Out of the total August sales, vehicles were 34,502 vehicles were sold locally and the remaining 42,000 plus vehicles were expected exported out of China. This shows incredible demand for Tesla vehicles both in China and all around the world. Friends, Tesla China's August performance is incredible. However, even more importantly, the plant was able to keep up with June's record production numbers. This means Giga Shanghai has now produced over 75,000 vehicles in a single month in two separate instances and if the factory can maintain this number for a year, that means Giga Shanghai has achieved an annualized production run rate of over 900,000 electric vehicles a year. Just for comparison, like I stated in the beginning, 900,000 is about the number of vehicles Tesla delivered in all of 2021, utilizing both Giga Shanghai and the company's Fremont, California plant. And August Giga Shanghai production numbers suggest Tesla's China plant can now single-handedly produce as many vehicles as Tesla's worldwide vehicle output in 2021. This is incredible growth, isn't it? And Tesla's part. However, Giga Shanghai's 900,000 annualized vehicle production rate uh, is just the tip of the iceberg. Currently, Tesla is in the process of ramping vehicle production at two new factories on two, two continents. The two new factories are Giga Berlin and Giga Texas. They, uh, when fully ramped, are expected to produce more than 1 million vehicles a year each. Tesla is also increasing vehicle production by 50% at its Fremont, California plant to 750,000 vehicles, as I reported a couple of days ago. And when you add all this up together, it doesn't seem like it will be too long before Tesla starts producing several million vehicles a year. As of now, given the unpredictable nature of production ramps, it's now exactly clear what sorts of production numbers Tesla will hit at what time. However, we will be sure to keep you posted as we learn more about Tesla's growth plan. Until then, uh, please make sure to visit our site at torquenews.com slash Tesla regularly for the latest updates. So what do you think? Excited to learn that Tesla has been able to maintain an annualized production run rate of over 900,000 vehicles only from Giga Shanghai? Also, how many cars do you think Tesla will deliver in 2022? That's a big question. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below.